Okay, gentlemen, we have an Asian Warner 5551SN that uh, it's already uh, almost completely built. The unit is assembly, all the internal components. And what we're going to work on now, uh, it's the main control valve body. Okay, here's the valve body. The first thing that we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a resistance check on the solenoids uh, just to make sure that they are within range before we start working on it. Okay. Uh, we see here we have 12 ohms on this solenoid and they should all uh, have almost the same resistance Okay, we have 12 on this one 12 on this one 12 on this one 12 okay, they're all uh, showing uh, the correct resistance value the proper resistance value is 11 to 16 ohms they all owned at uh, 12 ohms, uh, the on-off solenoids, uh, so they are within range. Now we're going to test the linear solenoids. Now the linear solenoids are the major uh, cause of failure for this unit. Uh, so we're going to disassemble those solenoids and we are going to fix them and uh, recalibrate them. But first we have to uh, take a resistance check and they should read between 5 and 7 ohms. Okay? The black solenoid, which is the lockup solenoid, is right at 5 ohms. Okay, the blue solenoid, the linear solenoid, is the line pressure control solenoid and is also a 5 ohm. Okay, the green one is the shift pressure control solenoid and as we see, it's also 5 ohms. So they're all within range, so uh, now let's cut them open. Okay, we're going to cut the back of the solenoid around here so we can take this cap off and uh, remove the pintle from the armature. Uh, I already removed the valve and the spring. As you can see, uh, here is our lineup. The first one is the lockup, and the other two are the two linears, uh, SLU and uh, SLS solenoid. Uh, everything that you see here is going to go into the valve body. There's the valve body gaskets, and uh, here's all the, the accumulator checks, filters, and the solenoid o rings. Uh, we're going to use one of these uh, drill bits to clean the solenoid uh, to remove the, uh, the front uh, cap. Uh, we use a 2.5 Allen wrench uh, to remove it uh, after we clean them up and put a brand new cap in this thing. Uh, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you uh, how many uh, turns uh, per solenoid uh, for the correct calibration. Now I want you to notice something here. Uh, the cap is already off, but you still have a little lip, a little ridge uh, on the solenoid steel, uh, so that has to be removed and smoothed now. Okay, now that that, that is uh, nice and smooth, now uh, we can start the cleaning process. I don't know if you can appreciate it uh, here, but there is a bushing over here and one further down in the bottom, uh, which is going to be about right here. Uh, those bushings are the ones that uh, they get debris on them and the pintle stick. Okay, here's the uh, end caps. The end caps are off. Uh, uh, these uh, original end caps are going to go to the trash. These are the pintles and uh, as you can see, I mean, uh, they have to be real nice and smooth uh, and those bushings have to be real smooth for the pintle to work. This is a pulse width modulated solenoid, so it's always pulsating controlling line pressure. Okay, what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to choose one of these uh, two drill bits that come in the kit uh, to fix these solenoids. Uh, one of these sm uh, is smaller than the other and the one that, that fits snug is the one we're going to use. Uh, okay, this one is fits real loose, so this is, we're not going to use this, this is for the smaller type uh, bushing uh, and this is the one we're going to use and you're going to go in backwards all the way in, all the way in backwards it's a little tight at first. It's all that debris that's in there. Okay, now that we're all the way in, you could see the drill bit coming out a little bit on this side. So now what you want to do, uh, you're going to go back and forth for 15 seconds uh, and you're going to repeat this process on all three solenoids. Now that you've uh, done that for 15 seconds back and forth, 
you're going to remove it the same way you insert it. You're going to go backwards all the way out. Okay, I want you to notice something is you're not going to be able to appreciate it on, on the camera that, that well. But you can see here some of the debris that is being cleaned. Okay, now that our solenoids are, are cleaned up, we're going to check the pintle. It should fall by itself like it is now. Uh, once it does that, I mean, you know that your solenoid is clean. Now for the caps. The caps, the new caps that come in the kit, uh, you just call your aftermarket part supplier and uh, ask him for a correction kit for uh, uh, Asian Warner 5550 or 51SN and uh, they should be able to help you. Uh, that, that kit will allow you to uh, open your solenoid from the back and just use a cap to put on it. Uh, you're gonna use a socket like a 1316 half inch drive. Uh, either you can hammer it in or you can use an arbor press or a shop press to press this cap in. And our preference of course is to use an arbor press. There we go. And we do this uh, on all the rest of the two solenoids. Okay, now that we have our uh, solenoids assembled, I mean, they're nice and free, and uh, they shake pretty good. I mean, they rattle. Uh, once you hear that rattle, I mean, you know that these solenoids are fixed. Okay, the next step is to uh, install the valve back on the solenoid. The spring. And the end plug. Now, please note, uh, once your thread is latched in that's where you're going to start the adjustment the green one and the blue one which are the two larger uh, snout solenoids uh, the correct calibration uh, it's four and a half turns or when you disassemble this uh, solenoid you can uh, use a caliper to measure from the bot from the bottom of uh, the solenoid snout to the to the tip uh, you can you can either do that and return it to its original uh, position the way that you turn it. I mean that you uh, removed it. Uh, but I highly recommend that you just follow four and a half turns on the two larger snouts and eight turns on the shorter snout solenoid, which is the black solenoid, the lockup solenoid. Uh, the reason it takes more turns is because it has a fine thread on it. Uh, and another reason for it to uh, do four and a half, four and a half, and eight is because uh, some solenoids uh, have been uh, tampered with uh, trying to adjust the solenoids when actually the pintle is the one that's sticking. So we go four and a half turns. One, two, three, four, and a half turns. And then you put your locking tab on, on it. Okay? You, Repeat the process, four and a half turns for this, and uh, eight turns for this.